हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द पार्ट वन दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ मेक और टेक्निक और एडमिक्स टेक्निक ऑफ इम्प्रेशन इन रिजॉर्ब रिजिस इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पार्ट वन विच वॉज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस आई एल शेयर द लिंक ओके देन लेट्स बिगिन विद द मेक और टेक्निक एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस टेक्निक वॉज गिवन बाई मेक और एंड टाइसन एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड मेक और टेक्निक और द एडमिक्स टेक्निक एंड इट इन्वॉल्व द यूज ऑफ विस्कस एडमिक्स ऑफ इम्प्रेशन कंपाउंड एंड ग्रीन स्टिक कंपाउंड सो फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप वॉज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ प्राइमरी इम्प्रेशन देन वी आर गोइंग टू फेब्रिकेट अ कस्टम ट्रे आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इन दिस पार्ट बिगिन विद द एडमिक्स टेक्निक ऑफ इम्प्रेशन सो before starting the mecor technique we are going to prepare a material to take a impression in conventional method border molding is done with the green stick compound and then we'll take a wash with the zinc oxide eugenol but in this step here is a twist in this we are going to use a impression compound and a green stick compound together to take a secondary impression so we are using a impression compound and a tracing compound or a green stick tracing compound in a ratio of 3 is to 7 part by weight It means we are using a three part of impression compound and seven part of green stick compound in a bowl of warm water we are not using a boiling wa boiling water water should be at 60 degree celsius As you can see in the video, we are using a three to seven part of impression compound and a green stick compound. After taking it in a three to seven ratio, we are going to knead it to a homogeneous mass that provides a working time of about ninety seconds. We are going to knead it until we get a homogeneous mass. After kneaded to a homogeneous mass, this homogeneous mass is loaded to a tray. now we are going to load this mass in a tray and then with the help of thumb we are going to press the material in a tray so that it can take a shape and then we are going to place it in the patient mouth after checking the temperature of the material now we are going to place a loaded tray in the patient mouth and tongue movement and advise the patient to do a tongue movement to record the borders we ask the patient to do a tongue movement to record alveolingual sulcus and the lingual extension is recorded by protruding the tongue to moisten the lip to check and then and then to put the tip of the tongue at the back of the palate to record the lingual frenum as you can see in the figure if you guys want detailed video related to border molding do comment on comment section i'll share the video when you record the middle and the posterior part of the alveolingual sulcus with the help of finger we are going to push the material so that we can record the posterior and the middle part and with the time remove from the patient mouth and check whether it is recorded or not now again place the uh, tray in the patient mouth and do a lip and a cheek massage buccal and labial borders are recorded by moving the cheek and the lips upward and inward and by doing cheek massage so that we can form a seal after doing all the uh, movements we are now going to check the borders whether they are recorded completely or not and then we are going to remove the excess material from the tray as you can see in the video we are going to remove the excess material with the help of bp blade so that tray will not dislodge from the patient mouth and then we can refine the border again after removing the excess from the tray then again put the tray into the warm water now place the tray in the patient mouth so that we can refine the impression again after trimming the excess to refine the impression we are going to do a lip and the cheek movement and ask the patient to do all the tongue movement so that all the borders are refined and we can record the frenum and the sulcus correctly now finally we are go uh, going to check that everything is recorded or not we are going to place a tray in the patient mouth and check whether it is stable or not whether it is retentive or not to check the stability we are going to apply a pressure on the premolar or the molar region of the tray if there is a rise in the tray on the other side it means 
it, it indicates that it is unstable this is the final impression after refining so why we are using impression compound and a green stick for impression in micot technique in cases of resolved ridges why we are not uh, doing it in a conventional method first we are doing a border molding with a green stick compound and then a wash there is a reason behind this we are using a, a green stick compound and impression compound because this composite material exhibiting greater flowability and hence better recording of details that is why this technique is quite useful in poor ridge cases in conventional technique we, uh, we are having a spacer which provide the space for the uh, wash impression but in this we are going to we are going to scrape the impression so that we'll have a space for the wash impression material just scrape the impression with the help of bp blade so that we'll have a space for the material we are going to take a wash impression with the zoe as in the conventional method so we are going to mix a equal part of the base paste and the catalyst on the glass slab as you can see in the video we are mixing the base plate a uh, base paste and the catalyst in a equal ratio mix until a homogeneous mix we'll get a homogeneous mix and then load it load it on the tray after loading it onto the tray now again uh, place the tray in the patient mouth and do all the movements to record the borders now we ask the patient to uh, touch the tip of the tongue at the back of the pal palate so that we can record the lingual frenum we'll do a cheek and the lip movement upward and the inward so that we can record the buccal uh, frenum and the borders and again do a lip and a cheek massage so that we can create a seal should be very quick this time to do all the border movements time to time check whether material is set or not once it set then only remove the uh, tray otherwise you have to repeat the impression again we have a final impression after wash this is all about the mcord or the admix technique of impression one very important question why we are using this technique in resolved cases not in all the cases or not or, or why we are not using conventional one in resolve ridge cases in resolve ridge cases we are having a high degree of resorption so we need to cover the more denser area due to high resorption in the alveolar ridge, ridges more the denser cover the basal seat area the bet, better is the stability of the processes and that is why we are using a mcord technique because it has a better flow and it records the uh, detail in a very fine way more the basal seat area we are going to cover more more better is the stability of the processes that is why admix technique is advocated in resorb ridge cases especially in uh, covid and hovel class 5th and 6th cases I hope this video is helpful for you to understand how to take a impression in severely resorb ridge cases. If you want more such types of video, do comment on comment section. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest video.